national cult following for his zombie films. First there was Night of the Living Dead, then there was Dawn of the Dead, and now the final chapter in his zombie trilogy has been completed. It's called Day of the Dead. George Romero has always used a lot of local actors in his films, but you haven't always been able to tell underneath all of that gruesome zombie makeup. And in this latest film, the special effects makeup is more gruesome than ever, thanks to Tom Savini, a local makeup artist. Right now we are going to take a close look at Tom Savini's diabolical makeup magic. But we warn you, this is special effects makeup at its goriest. And as they say, it could only happen in the movies. Good morning, Justin. How are you today? Ready to go for a ride? Feed Mommy a banana. Mommy wants some. Mm, that's not a banana. With frightening zombies like that one, George Romero's film, Day of the Dead, is one that mothers may not want their young children to see. But as it turns out, that growling, drooling zombie you just saw is the mother of a young child and a wife. Her name is Debbie Gordon. Well, it was uh, an interesting experience, a once-in-a-lifetime, what we might call an adventure. Yeah. Deborah Gordon won't be the only zombie growling in front of a camera. Over a thousand zombies were cast by director George Romero for the final part of his zombie trilogy. His first zombie film was Night of the Living Dead. Next came Dawn of the Dead. And now it's Day of the Dead. This story takes place at a time when Romero zombies are more decayed and gruesome than ever. And this film will be more violent than ever. This is the ultimate zombie movie. Every zombie is different. Every zombie looks different. There are more prosthetic appliances. They're more decayed. They're more rotten. Everybody has generic teeth in them. You know, since Michael Jackson's Thriller came out and Return of the Dead and all these zombie films that are coming out, we have to be one up on them. Every drop of fake blood, every gory effect, every mechanized body part is the work of this man. He is Tom Savini, master of special effects makeup. He already has a long list of horror movie credits, including Creepshow, Friday the 13th, Final Chapter, and Dawn of the Dead. And Tom Savini is hoping that Day of the Dead will be the scariest movie ever put on film. In fact, the movie will not even be submitted for a rating. Tom Savini's makeup shop is like a nightmare waiting to come to life. This is where Debbie Gordon is transformed from a beautiful actress and model into a decaying zombie. Debbie is playing the lead female zombie in the movie. Her makeup must be precise and detailed for the camera close-ups. It's a long and complicated process, which actually started a month ago. A life-size mold is made of Debbie's face. Then foam latex is poured into the mold, and out pops a rubber mask. One piece will fit around Debbie's eyes, and the other under her lower lip. When she moves her face, it'll move with her. It's like the outside of her face is brand new. Your inside of her face controls it. After the masks are glued down, layers of grease paint and powder are applied. Her arms get a makeup job, too. Liquid latex is painted on. When it dries, her skin takes on a wrinkled look. The rubbery layer is scraped away to make it look like she has open wounds. And if that's not enough, the makeup crew isn't finished yet. Next comes the blood. It's a special type of blood that we use. It's called gel blood. It kind of coagulates like real blood and forms more of a thick, kind of a crusty blood. It's made of caro syrup and red food coloring. Barbecue sauce is used for scenes that call for the blood to be eaten. And other food is also used for Debbie's zombie makeover. A mixture of oatmeal, charcoal powder, and hair gel are rubbed into her hair. The finishing touch, false teeth. And after two hours in the makeup chair, this is the final result. It's a face only another zombie could love. And of course, being a lead zombie, Debbie has important lines. One of them goes like this. <laughs> what kind of reactions did you get from, from family and friends when they found out what you were working on? Well, people can't believe that I would do this. A lot of my friends and family, my, 
my father was a little upset. He, he, he just couldn't understand why I would want to do this or why I would want anyone to know that I did it. Even though a starring role is hard to turn down, Deborah Gordon is not sorry that the filming is over and that she can return to more conventional roles, including wife and mother. Until, that is, the next big challenge comes along. Well, one thing about Debbie is she's a very spontaneous lady, and I think that's what makes her so exciting and nice to live with. <laughs> she's an unusual person, and we never know what her next move's going to be. It was interesting. Yes, Day of the Dead opens at theaters this summer, and as we mentioned, it will have no rating, but it will be Romero's most graphic film to date.